It has been enjoyed by humans since the ninth century, right? It's incredible to think that this popular beverage, which is present in almost every home today, has such a long and storied past. Coffee has adapted to various climates and civilizations as it has wandered the world. From the ancient coffee woods of Ethiopia to the thriving coffee houses of Europe and the Americas. In this installment, we will delve into Brazil, one of the world's leading coffee producers, because every cup has a tale to tell. But before we move further, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that we can afford to create such free videos for you. To begin, if you would want to see more in-depth explorations of farming and food production, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications. Watch more videos like this because of your support. Brazil is the next logical step in the coffee cultivation industry. Therefore, let's go there. In the world of coffee, Brazil is unrivaled. It produces an astounding 33% of the world's coffee, making it the top producer in the world. With an astounding 8 million farmers devoted to the trade, Brazil boasts 18 billion coffee trees. The supply of coffee that you enjoy in the morning is ensured by the labor of 8 million Americans. Arabica coffee is Brazil's speciality. Arabica, a type of coffee grown in the mountains, is more expensive and renowned for its sweet flavor and exceptional quality. Indulge in a gourmet experience with every sip of this coffee. Because of its varied topography and hardworking farmers, Brazil has become an expert grower of Arabica coffee. What about the excellent stuff? It is probably Brazilian. How is the cultivation of coffee beans unique in Brazil? It combines both old and new ways of doing things. Envision a farm where traditional hard work is complemented by state-of-the-art machinery. Mountainous regions still have their fair share of coffee grown by farmers who handpick each bean. Farmers are using AI into their operations to aid with weather forecasting, soil health monitoring, and crop production optimization. It's a combination of modern technology with more conventional elements. Preparing the land is the first step in the trip. Fertile coffee plantations are created by farmers from uncultivated lands. After the soil is plowed and leveled, the planting media can be organized. Soil preparation is an important first step before using a tractor for harvesting or maintenance purposes. Artificial intelligence, AI, won't be of any use without this foundation. Seed selection is the next step. The ideal seeds for this crop are those that are healthy, pest-free, have a short stem, in the correct crown shape. By evaluating the seeds for best growth potential, 
AI technology helps in this procedure. After selection, the seeds are taken to the nursery for further care until they are prepared to be planted. Envision a vast field of tiny coffee plants, each one carefully preparing to produce your next mug of java. When seedlings have spent around 10 to 12 weeks in the nursery, it is time to transfer them to poly bags. There will be a major transplant after four or five more months. Heavy lifting is done by specialized tractors who plant the seedlings at the optimal spacing to guarantee their robust and healthy growth. Better production and less maintenance are possible because to the exact spacing. The actual labor starts now that the seedlings are planted. To prevent invasive species from taking over, weeding must be done regularly. Another important thing that farmers do is use tractors to till and aerate the soil so that it retains its structure. An important step in the process is fertilization. Three times a year, farmers supplement the plant's nutritional needs with a mix of chemical fertilizers, compost, and manure. Limestone is a trick that may surprise you, Industrial limestone, when applied to soil by Brazilian farmers during the growing season, can boost coffee yields by as much as 40%. Limestone is essential for a successful harvest because it helps balance the acidity of the soil. Accurate dosing is crucial. Either too little or too much will have negative effects. Brazilian coffee growers have pests under control, which is a major plus for producers. They find infestations quickly and cure them using both natural and AI-monitored approaches. It is usual practice to use tractors that have sprayers for pesticides and fungicides. Here, pruning is also important. In preparation for the coffee plant's flowering season, farmers prune the trees and remove any diseased or otherwise unhealthy branches. It is now time to harvest, which takes approximately 2.5 to 3 years. Half a kilogram to one kilogram of coffee can be harvested from each Arabica plant. These days, tractors are used for the job because they can collect a lot of coffee cherries fast. Although this approach is quick, it does have certain difficulties. Unfortunately, machines don't always pick the best beans or don't treat plants well. That is when harvesting by hand becomes useful. Manual harvesting is slower but it ensures a superior quality product since growers can select just the best cherry. Because of its exceptional taste and consistency, this coffee is frequently sold at a higher price. When you want the best of the best, go for hand-picked coffee. The process is far from over even after the coffee cherries have been plucked. Two primary ways exist for processing the cherries. But first, we need to discuss drying and roasting. These steps taken after harvest account for 40% of the total quality of the coffee. 
feel free to do so, okay? All that effort in the field can be for nothing if it isn't managed properly. The natural process is the name of the initial approach. This method entails exposing the coffee cherries to sunlight while they are still whole, skin and all. Even drying of the cherries, which might take many weeks, requires constant turning by the farmers. The honey process is the second approach. In this step, a machine removes the cherry skin, exposing a sticky mucilage layer that imparts a honey-like flavor to the coffee. By keeping an eye on these procedures, AI can guarantee their quality and consistency. So what can American coffee growers learn from their Brazilian counterparts? To begin, they can mimic Brazil's carefree approach to seed picking, which includes using artificial intelligence to assess seed quality. Limestone and other land preparation techniques have the potential to revolutionize crop production and financial returns. Combining state-of-the-art AI-driven technologies with Brazil's traditional practices could be a game-changer for American farmers in the future. Sustainable approaches like as the honey process, which aim to balance efficiency with quality, could help American coffee farms succeed in the long run. To keep American coffee production competitive internationally, this endeavor might be strengthened by using natural pest control approaches and irrigation systems powered by artificial intelligence. Do yourself a favor. Subscribe for more videos about farming and food processing. Share this one with your coffee-loving friends and give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. To keep up with the latest news about AI-driven breakthroughs in agriculture, click the bell symbol. Until our next video, take care.